changes actually reflect the needs uh, within our own society. Thank you. I call Dr Deborah Russell. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, this is the first time I've, I've spoken on this bill, and listening to the, the speeches this evening have um, raised a number of questions in my mind. Um, partly it raises questions, Madam Chair, because I have 17-year-old uh, daughters myself, um, uh, twins, and they're very precious to me. Um, and one of the things I know about them is that they do take notice of what I say, and they do take notice of um, what I want, and I know that as their mother, I, um, I am in a position to influence them deeply. Um, and, um, and again, of course, partly too, because you know, as the adults in the household, uh, my husband, their father and I, uh, the two of us, we have, um, and there's no other way to put this, we have enormous power over them, um, as most parents do over their children, so we can influence them deeply. So I really understand the need for this particular bill, and I congratulate um, Jo Hayes on the work she has done in getting this bill to this stage, and I'm delighted to see that members of this House are, are supporting this unanimously. Um, what I'm interested in is the cultural report. Um, you know, the New Zealand I grew up in was pretty homogenous. Uh, there, you know, we, I guess, didn't even really see uh, the difference with respect to Māori, with, to the Tangata Whenua. We've learned a lot better, thank goodness. Uh, but the New Zealand we live in now has many different cultures and ethnicities. And, of course, those different cultures bring different understandings of what families are and the obligations of families. Uh, and I'm finding this is, uh, it is worrying me, in a sense, in this particular bill, we come from a very individualistic culture where we do expect people to make, or I do, for a very individualist culture where we expect people to make decisions for themselves. But I do know that in some other cultures, that in actual fact, family ties are very important, that what the family wants uh, it really does override what the individual wants. And I suppose I'm faintly worried uh, that in obtaining this cultural report, we might be imposing uh, Western individualist values on cultures which do hold family values more dear. Now, that's not to say uh, that I think that, necessary, that, that those, those adults in those cultures should override the rights of 16 and 17 year olds. I, I certainly don't think about that. But I am worried about the understandings which will be brought to the cultural report. And in particular, if I look at, uh, I think it's clause 20, which I think was inserted in the bill, where it says that the judge may obtain a cultural report, a written cultural report, and by requesting a person whom the judge considers qualified for that purpose. And that's the question that's being raised in my mind. Now, look, I know our judges work hard. I know they are people of great probity. I know that judges who work in the family court necessarily consider a whole range of difficult issues. But I also know that, for the most part, those judges in the family court do come from the same uh, westernised, individualist culture that I come from. So when we're talking about how the judge considers the person to be appropriately qualified, I guess I'm interested in how we will ensure that judges are in a good position to make a good decision about that. And it's, it's one of those things you could keep on going back and back and back but I'm interested in hearing some of those, uh, how, how a judge might go about assessing whether or not a person is qualified, uh, assessing, uh, I guess, their own competence to make that judgment, uh, what sort of resources a judge might think of calling on with respect to finding someone who is uh, in a position to write that cultural report. And I guess uh, in terms of that cultural report, I wonder if it, I suppose a judge could request this, but maybe um, other advice if needed. So I think there's a whole set of issues to be explored there, none of which should stop this going through, and I support the whole concept of this bill and the concept of a cultural report, but I am interested in some of the issues around that report and what could be done to address them. And I uh, would hope that uh, the honourable member whose bill this is, who's worked so hard on it, will perhaps be able to enlighten me uh, and to give me a little bit of reassurance around some of those areas to make sure that all the cultures, all the ethnicities in 
what I hope is our increasingly tolerant society will continue to coexist peacefully together in this country. I call Jo Hayes. Um, Madam Chair, thank you very much, and I just want to um, extend my thanks to everybody who have. Uh